John Ging, the Director of uh, Operations for the United Nations Relief Work Agency, has just given a brief uh, a speech here, really, uh, to gear the kids up. In a few seconds, actually, they're going to be blowing a whistle, and uh, the kites will essentially begin to fly. I'm going to step out of the way. You can hear the countdown actually uh, beginning. Now, the aim here is to get about 5,000 kites up in the air. The current record is about 710. Uh, that was set in Germany in 2008. Uh, and so right now organizers believe they have the number needed to actually shatter that record. The purpose or the way they are counting it, uh, there are about 119 underwater schools in the Gaza Strip. Uh, and each one of these schools has been given a designated area for the students. Uh, and through that, they're able to count the number of kites that will be flying. The International Committee of the Red Cross is actually acting as an independent, uh, uh, I guess, adjudicator. They're here to verify the number of kites that will be in the air, obviously to make sure that it is in compliance with the Guinness World Book of Records standards. So it's certainly a very uh, big goal, but the uh, organizers here believe they have the number needed. Uh, Eamon, it looks uh, quite spectacular seeing all those kites flying above you. And I understand that um, it's part of a program of activities for children there over the summer. That's true. This is part of the United Nations Relief Work Agency summer program, a very important program for the children of Gaza. The uh, population of Gaza is 1.5 million. Half of those uh, are children under the age of 18. Every summer, UNRWA uh, organizes summer programs, summer camps with about 200,000 students. This year, the number of those enrolled was about 240,000. Uh, it's very important in the life of many of these children who uh, really struggle in the day-to-day -day realities of living life under siege, the education system system here suffers uh, quite a lot and so it's programs such as the summer program by UNRWA that it plays a very important role for many of these children and th that is not lost on the organizers here who say uh, the event today is not just about breaking uh, a world record but really it is about making the children of Gaza believe that despite the odds that they face on a daily basis they too can be the best at whatever it is that they want including kite flying on this particular day. And, and Eamon, um, I just remember from being in Gaza that some parts of the beach there were kind of cordoned off because of uh, obviously it's been a war zone. Did they have to have any special measures to make sure that the beach was actually safe after all the ammunition that's been flying in the region in the last little while? Absolutely. In fact, uh, according to officials we spoke to here, uh, this beach was combed or actually has been combed over the past week in preparation for this particular event. They did go through a lot of this area to make sure that there wasn't any unexploded ordnance, uh, there wasn't any remnants that could be potentially dangerous. They've gone to a great extent to make sure the event is pulled off successfully and safely for the children here. Uh, paramedics are on the scene also. It is uh, scorching hot out here. But it seems to be a great time for the wind, at least. And so there are uh, organizers here making sure that there's water and uh, first aid safety. And so certainly that is the objective of the organizers, to make it a fun uh, day as much as possible for the children of Gaza who continue to suffer so much uh, during the summer.